Hey there, this is Kushal, and welcome to the second video of the support vector machines algorithm, in which we are going to finish it off and uh, just learn how it works, and then we'll uh, go to Google Colab and we'll code anomaly detection, right? So let's start this video. And uh, in the previous videos, we we had talked about things like the primal problem, the duality gaps, and things. Now we are in a state to derive the dual problem using Lagrange multipliers method which we discussed in class as well because this is one more recording after the class so in that method if you guys recall we we had talked about these two curves one was family of circle and one was family of line right then we 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 had for uh made these figures based upon both the both the equations and then we have combined both just to find optimal uh, just to find the minimum thing of this thing or whatever thing we want to achieve so we want to achieve minimize we want to we want to minimize this thing so in order to find the minimum point of the family of circles we need to just uh, join both the things the family of lines and family of circles then uh, according to lagrange what what he said he said that uh, the point of minimum will be the point where both the lines will be superimposed. And where the two lines will be parallel, that will be your minima ka point, hoga, right? So that will be your point of minima. Now let's uh, move forward and uh, let's say we are at the minimum point. That means uh, we have found the point where both the gradients are parallel. By, by the way, these arrows are gradients of both the curves. So uh, if they are parallel, we can we can use this equation fxy minus lambda gxy, and uh, we will just uh, so like i had explained this thing in class as well gradient of fxy equals to lambda into gradient of gxy then we had just uh, extracted the value of uh, uh, this thing uh, basically we have just uh, equated whole equation to zero and this just you know take a taken everything to the left side right and after that we we were able to find this equation which was uh, Lagrange function and using this Lagrange function we had to formulate our SVM Lagrangian problem and SVM Lagrangian problem uh, will basically have a step by step process so we'll just substitute the value of this thing half m square half norm of m square at the place of fm and these two lines at the place of gmc and this is the general equation of the line so that's how we have substituted it here then uh, according to duality principle we we first had to minimize then we have to maximize if you go and check out this curve according to this maximize minimize but what we have to do according to this principle we have to eliminate this minimize wb this minimize mc so don't get me wrong just replace wb with mc sometimes uh, we also refer mc with w so by mistaken I have written this here. So minimize uh, mc and maximize lambda. These are two equations that that should be there logically, but we have to eliminate this thing. Then in in order to eliminate this thing, we will have to take derivatives with respect to m and with respect to c, which we also did in uh, the actual life class. And after uh, taking derivatives and equating it to zero, we'll be able to find some things and then replace those things in the equation. And after solving equation, we'll be getting one equation in terms of lambda only, which is this one, right? Now this equation, this uh, optimization problem equation, basically you can see this is our whole optimization problem here, this one. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not telling you to just write down everything which you, you should have had done in the actual class. But try to understand the point here, what we are trying to, we are just trying to maximize this thing, maximize lambda and things, right? 
एंड दैट्स आर एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम तो मैंने आपको पहले बताया था कि हमें मिनिमाइज करने वाली प्रॉब्लम से मैक्सिमाइज करने वाली प्रॉब्लम बनानी दैट इज़ आर डूअल प्रॉब्लम सो दिस वॉज आर प्राइमल प्रॉब्लम एंड वी आर एबल टू कैलकुलेट द डूअल प्रॉब्लम है यू कैन सी दिस वन इज़ आर डूअल प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ ईजियर टू सॉल्व यूजिंग क्यू पी सॉल्वर राइट एंड बट बिफोर गोइंग टू क्यू पी सॉल्वर वी नीड टू जस्ट सी दैट इज दिस डूअल प्रॉब्लम वेरीफाइंग सम कंडीशन बिकॉज देर आर सम कंडीशन इफ इफ दोज कंडीशन आर वेरीफाइड दैन दैट मीन्स दिस इज द ऑप्टीमल ऑप्टीमल सोल्यूशन राइट एंड दोज कंडीशन आर फोर कंडीशन नोन एज करोश कंटकर कंडीशन राइट द वेरी फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज स्टेशनरी कंडीशन दैट मीन्स ये जो डेरीवेटिव है इट शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो राइट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी इक्वेटेड टू जीरो and this was the derivative only so so the the point is not to equate it to zero the point is to get a derivative like this right and we are able to satisfy this thing we are able to satisfy the second one as well del l by del c you can just replace b by c and w by m right next is this primal uh, fee, primal feasibility condition which is uh, this y i डब्ल्यू एक्स आई प्लस बी विच इज़ द लाइन इक्वेशन वी हैव मेड द जनरल इक्वेशन हेयर इफ यू सी दिस इज जनरल इक्वेशन राइट सो वेर एबल टू सेटिसफाई दिस वन इज वेल थर्ड इज डूअल फीजिबिलिटी कंडीशन दैट इज फॉर द फॉर द डूअल प्रॉब्लम सो यू कैन सी लैमडा इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो दिस इज ऑल्सो बींग सेटिसफाइड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सेक्लस कंडीशन दैट इज ऑल्सो हेयर बिकॉज इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस थिंग विद लैमडा दिस थिंग गेट्स सेटिसफाइड बिकॉज लैमडा इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो and this equation will basically satisfy this thing right and fourth condition is the uh, complementary slackness uh, slackness condition you can see either lambda i should be zero or this thing should be zero both are being satisfied okay uh, because e, like if you equate this to zero this will ultimately be equated to one and those are the two lines two hyperplanes of support vector machines right so after solving this thing with the qp solver we'll be able to get these lambda lambdas are lagrange multiplier okay so support vectors in those lambdas are positive because we because we'll be getting a lot of lagrange multipliers there after solving this equation a lot of values of lambda will be there according to number of x we have right how many how many uh, data points we have so according to data points we'll be having a lot of lagrange multipliers lot of lambda values in the matrix and we have to select the positive ones and positive ones are uh, are the support vectors what are support vectors support vectors are these points from where the lines pass right so these are support vectors and after uh, getting support vectors will be able to classify but but our point is not to classify our point is to detect anomalies here and in order to detect anomalies we need to uh, learn one variation of support vector machines algorithm that is one class svm one class svm right you know what is support vector machines it is a classification algorithm you can easily implement it I'll let you know about it. Uh, I'll let you know about how to implement. But we need to talk about one class SVM that is one class support vector machine. So what is a one class SVM? Let's say you have some data points uh, like this. Okay. So what will one class SVM one class SVM do? It will create some sort of a boundary around the data. Right. whatever the pattern this data is following according to because the svm lines you used to use now these these are not actually lines these are hyperplanes and hyperplanes are uh like in 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 one dimension there is only line in two dimension there is a line in three dimension there is a plane but more than three dimension there are hyperplanes so those those can be bent as well and whatever thing can be done so using those hyperplanes we actually try to uh find pattern in the data right and whenever some outlier point comes here so this one class svm checks whether this point is inside this pattern or outside this pattern right so if it is outside what it is it is an outlier or anomaly 
राइट तो हमने एस वी एम की मैथमेटिक्स इसलिए समझी ताकि आपको थोड़ा बहुत पता रहे बट विल बी अटेम्प्टिंग इट टू कोड नॉट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज इट्स नॉट ईजी टू कोड फ्राम स्क्रैच एंड आर गोल इज टू अंडरस्टैंड मैथ्स एंड देन अंडरस्टैंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन राइट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू इम्प्लीमेंट वन क्लास एस वी एम इन सपोर्ट बेक्ट इन योर गूगल को लैब एज वेल एज इन साइकिल लर्न ओके so guys in order to implement this uh, one class svm we'll need to import some things and um, that include uh, from sklearn what is sklearn it is scikit learn module using which you can implement a lot of machine learning algorithms so sklearn dot svm import one class svm mind the capitals and small words along with this uh, we need a data set so from sklearn dot data sets import load wine this is a wine data set right wine quality uh, data set so we don't care about features right now i just want to tell you how you can detect which data point is an anomaly here so let's see uh, this is our classifier one class svm the function which we have imported here we'll just write it here and put some values here i'll let you know what are these zero point in the next session comma 0.3 for you can you, you can also ignore it this thing that these are by default taken but it's okay uh now we need the data so x equals to load wine this function which we have imported just now and in this data because because this thing is a dictionary if you see this thing is a dictionary and in the data keyword of the dictionary we have the data let me show you what what it is what are, like what are the features we have just to avoid confusion right okay so it has data it has feature names it has a lot of things right target uh, variables and things but our goal is not to get target variables our goal is to just detect anomalies in features right so what we'll be doing here uh, we'll be just selecting some columns so let's let's first of all select all rows okay and two columns so let's let's select two comma three second and third column second and third feature now let's just train this thing so in order to train anything in scikit learn you first have to create a classifier depending upon this function whatever you know the values you have in this function this kernel is something in support vector machines only uh we will we, we'll be talking about these things probably in some support vector machines course uh, because support vector machines is totally totally a very very vast topic right there is a very huge book written on that so i'll be definitely making one course in future regarding support vector machines right so now uh, whenever you make a classifier you need to fit it so clf dot fit that means training this classifier training it on x okay now uh, we'll be training this thing and it is trained and these are the things that we have extracted out after training now we need to just check whether the value is inside your class or outside your class right so in order to do that you need to predict you need to do some predictions the way we used to test things while coding from scratch similar thing you do here using the predict function and this predict returns minus 1 for outliers and plus 1 for inliers obviously right so let's try to predict it on the same thing on this same data right so uh, let's see uh, clf dot predict mm, x1 not x1 it is x so you can see guys a lot of outliers are there a lot of inliers as well you can see this is an inlier so, some of the values are outliers right so if you'll remove these values if you'll just uh, you know uh, apply this outlier detection apply this anomaly detection on your whatever project you are doing you will be able to get good accuracy right so that's all for this video rest of the things will be discussed in the next video uh, with new algorithms and probably the course is about to end with the clustering with some decision trees and things and uh, you 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 can just tell me something extra if you want to learn okay so thank you so much for watching the video 
good luck goodbye and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to put down your comments below and please press like button so that it, this video reaches to everyone thank you so much for watching good luck goodbye and i'll see you in the next one